David Hanley, vegetable and small fruit specialist for the University of Maine, and today we're going to talk about pruning highbush blueberries. Now, typically with blueberries, we want to start pruning them in the dormant season, so this is going to be sometime between the end of December and probably early to late March here in Maine. You want to make sure they're fully dormant because if you prune them too early in the fall, they're likely to sprout out and get winter injury. And if you prune them too late in the springtime after they've sprouted, then they're going to bleed a lot and you're going to create some uh, advantages for diseases to get in there. What you're looking at here is a bush that's about 20 years old. Um, what we want to do when we're pruning is keep this bush a good size and a good shape to be manageable open it up so lots of light gets in there, and this will improve fruit size and fruit quality and make it mature a little bit earlier for us so it's not getting too late in the season. And what we want to see in a good mature blueberry bush is that it has about 6 to 12 canes coming from the base of the plant and providing the upright structure for the bush. Every year this bush will throw up new canes from the base, and you can see some of those here, those smaller red type canes here. And we're going to just leave a few of those, cut out the weaker ones, leave the stronger ones, and then to make sure the bush isn't getting too thick, we'll take out a couple of older canes every year and allow those new canes to replace them. So your final structure of a mature blueberry bush, it should have 6 to 12 canes, and those canes should range in age from 1 to 6 years old. Any cane that's older than 6 starts to produce nothing but very weak wood, so we prune out the older canes in favor of a few newer canes every year. And we'll do that right at the base of the plant. We cut these canes off right at the base of the plant. So we take out a couple of older canes, select a couple of new canes to replace them, then put your big pruners down and move up into the top of the plant, and we start thinning the shoots that we see up here. Now you'll notice there's different types of shoot growth. We can see here we have some nice strong shoots. This is last year's growth. These are what we call one-year-old shoots. And then down lower we have some smaller, weaker shoots. And if you look at the shoots carefully, you'll see there's two types of buds. Here at the tip of the shoot we have swollen buds, kind of teardrop shaped. These are fruit buds. When they break next spring, they'll have a flower cluster on them, about six to eight flowers. Lower down we see these smaller pointed buds. These are vegetative buds. When these break next spring they'll give rise to shoots, which will be the shoot growth that bears fruit next year. So we want a, a nice shoot that has good length, good thickness, and a selection of fruiting buds at the tip and vegetative buds at the base. Branches like this that show nothing but weak shoots, we'll take that entire branch off in favor of a branch that's showing us a good combination of, of stronger shoots. So let's get to pruning. Put on your gloves, put on your glasses, wear long sleeves. These bushes can be a little bit prickly and can poke you if you're not being careful. Any of these branches that are getting out into the row, we'll just pop those right out of here and look at some of the stronger and weaker growth that we see here. And we can see we've got some new shoots in here and we've got uh, some of them that are fairly thin and not very strong. So we're gonna select the best of those. Uh, that one's reaching out where I don't want it, so we'll get that. And we see lots of weak wood like this, not showing us much good growth on there. Uh, this can come out in favor of the newer wood that we see. And again, here I'm getting out into the row where I don't want to be, so I'll just take that off to a cane that's showing me some pretty good growth. very weak growth and this is an older cane. This whole thing can come out. You can tell the older ones because they have the thickest basal diameter and they'll have the gray peeling bark. Oftentimes they'll even have lichen growing on them if you're in a uh, moist environment like we have here. Some of these branches are just old dead wood, don't have any live growth on them at all. So of course these can come right out and always look to see what you've got for strong shoots. And you can see here, very small, weak, not much fruiting wood on them, so that can come out. And we just keep thinning away this older, non-productive stuff. So a good job of pruning will also make sure that you're getting a good, healthy crop every year. Okay, so we've gotten most of that weak wood out of there. 
Uh, as you can see, we've, we've cut out all the weak and dead branches in favor of these nice strong shoots that we've got here with good fruit buds on there. And most of the weak ones are out. If there's still a few weak ones on there, you can just peel them off. You don't even really need to cut them with your uh, pruners. You can just rip them right off like that. But you don't have to get all of them. Just try to get most of them so that we have mostly good strong fruiting shoots on here. And you can see how much we've opened up this bush. So lots of light, lots of air movement through there. This will reduce your disease problems. It will give us very good fruit size on these shoots that we've left behind. It'll ripen them uh, more uniformly and earlier for us. And you can see that by opening up this bush, we're gonna get lots of new shoots that will give us a good crop for next year.